Welcome back to Lab Cyber. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install VirtualBox on a computer, and then I'll follow up by showing you how you can install Kali Linux on your VirtualBox platform. Now, I will be installing both on my Windows machine. However, the steps I'm going to take, you can apply the exact same steps to install both VirtualBox and Kali Linux on your Mac computer as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's begin by installing VirtualBox. And to do this, it's very, very straightforward. Simply go to virtualbox.org. And then on the left hand side, you'll see downloads. You click in there and then right here, you can choose the package that's appropriate for your platform. So whether you're working with Windows or Mac, simply click on the link and you will be able to download the package. And then once you're done, I also want you to download the extension pack for VirtualBox. This will provide the package with more extensions and more capabilities. So simply click on all supported platforms right there and you can download them. I have already done both and you can see these are the packages right here. So I'm going to begin by installing VirtualBox. I'm going to double click and then click on yes, click on next, next. You'll get this message saying that the network interface will be reset. That's fine. Click on yes, click on yes again, click on install. And uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. So overall, this shouldn't take more than 10 to 15 seconds. And there you go. Our cool VirtualBox has finished installing. And now it is going to launch and there it is right here. This is the VirtualBox manager all installed. I'm going to go ahead and close this and now let's install the extension back. So once again, simply double click on the extension pack and then simply click on install. Uh, scroll all the way down here and say I agree, even though <laughs> you haven't read anything. Just click on I agree. And uh, there it is. It's going to install and it's installing quietly in the background. So just keep this window open for about a minute or two. Okay. And there you go. So it's, it's installed successfully. Uh, you don't see the pop-up box, but there should be a pop-up box appearing saying that the installation was successful. Mine didn't pop up because I've already installed this before, but if it's the first time you're installing it, you should see like a very small uh, box telling you that the installation has been successful. All right, so now that we've installed VirtualBox, we can now go ahead to download and install Kali Linux. This is gonna be a little bit more tricky, but don't worry, I'm gonna guide you through the entire process. First step here is to go to Kali.org and you can click either on the download button here or simply click on Get Kali. And this will take us to the downloads page. What we're looking for right here would be the installer images. So you can click on recommended right here under installer images. And then right here, make sure that you're choosing either the 64 bit or the 32 bit, whichever platform you're working on. And then right here, you can simply click on the download button. And this will take a while because it is quite a heavy file. I have already downloaded the file. You can see right here, it is almost four gig and it's basically an ISO image. All right. So download the file. And once you're done, go back to virtual box, which is right here. Now you're going to click on new up here because we want to install Kali Linux. I'm going to click on new and then here I'm going to call it simply Kali Linux. That will be the name. Keep the folder the default. And then here where it says type, you're going to stick with Linux as well. Choose Linux and then the version you want to go with Debian and then 64 bit. Or if you're working with the 32 bit, go with Debian 32 bit. So I'm going to go with Debian 64 bit. And if you're wondering why Debian, why not any other uh, version of Linux? Well, because Kali Linux was built on the Debian platform. That's why. So I'm going to go with Debian 64 bit and then click on next. And then right here for the base memory, you want to go as high as you can. This will depend heavily on how much memory you have installed on your actual machine. I have more than 40 gig, so I'm going to go with eight gig. But ideally, you should have a minimum of four gig for your Linux system. And then processors, I have 16, so I'm going to go with four in this case. All right. And I'm going to click on next. And then right here where it says the disk size, again, I've got 20, I've got two terabytes of uh, disk storage. 
So you may not have as much, but you want to go with a minimum of eight gig. Okay, so go with a minimum of eight gig and then I'll click on next. And that's pretty much what we have right here. I'm going to click on finish and there it is. Okay, we're getting ready to now install the Kali Linux OS. However, before that, let's make a few changes in here. I'm going to go to settings, all right? Settings. And then here, let's expand this. All right. So on the system, right here where it says uh, the base memory, make sure that it is what you selected initially. Mine again is four uh, gig, which I'm going to go with four gig. And then processor, I'm going with uh, four processors in here because I have 16. A minimum should be one uh, uh, processor. You should have at least one processor selected. And then for display, for your video memory, I would recommend that you go all the way because this will make you will this will make the transition around the Kali Linux OS very, very, very smooth. Nothing will drag as you move the mouse around and you click on folders, you open folders and so on. It will be a very, very smooth experience. And then for storage, this is going to be the most important. This is where we will now install the ISO file that we downloaded earlier. So right here, click on empty. Okay, under controller ID, click on empty, then go right here, click on the disk, and then click on choose a disk file, and then now choose the ISO image that you downloaded earlier. So I'm going to click on open, and there it is. And then finally, very, very, very important where you have network, make sure that under adapter one, it is attached to a NAT network. Click on NAT network, and then right here, just simply choose the default NAT network. And then once this is done, we are pretty much ready to now install Kali Linux on our virtual box. So I'm going to click on OK right now and I'll simply click on start. And there it is. Now, this is going to take quite some time to get through. So let's first of all, go ahead and expand this. All right, so I'm going to choose the very first option in here, graphic install. Just click on capture in here, click capture. So we're going to go with the graphic install option. Now, if you're having any issues using your mouse, simply use the your keyboard. Use the direction arrows on your keyboard. So I'm going to go up here to graphic install, press enter. So I'm using my keyboard right now. All right. And OK, so let's just wait for a few seconds for the process to begin. Okay, so I'm gonna click on continue right here. You should be able to use your mouse right now. So uh, United States, uh, keyboard is American English and okay. Now it is mounting the ISO file that we, that we downloaded earlier. So now this will be the initial phase for the installation. I think what I'll do right now is I'm going to pause the video and resume once a new prompt Arrives. Now we're being asked to enter the host name for the system. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna keep it on Kali. Okay, click on continue. And now in here, the main name, we can just keep this one blank. I'll click on continue. And now it's asking for the full name of the user. So my name is Alex. Okay, so I'm gonna click on continue. And now the username for the account, I'll just change this one to Kali. Okay, but feel free to use any other username. So I'm just going to go with Kali and then password will be Kali as well. So Kali, Kali. And then continue. And then the time zone, I'm just going to stick with Eastern. We'll continue. And there it is. All right. So once again, I'm going to pause the video. Oh, actually, I forgot. We do have a prompt immediately shown up right here. Okay. So here, just choose the very first option, guided, use entire disk, continue. And then again, just click on continue. All files in one partition, click on continue. And then again, just click on uh, continue as well. And then right here, it's going to say write changes to disks. Now here, we're going to say yes. We want to write the changes to disks. So I'll click on continue. And there it is. So I believe it will, this will now take a while before we have the next prompt. So I'm going to pause the video and then resume once the next prompt arrives. All right. Next prompt over here. Just simply click on continue. No need to change anything in here. So continue. All right. So by the next prompt here and I'm just going to click on yes. So continue. 
And now in here, we're going to choose the second option in here for our bootloader. Click on continue. And we're almost now at the end of installing Kali Linux. At this point right now, it shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes for the installation to finish. So let me just pause the video one more time and resume once the installation has completed. And there it is. We have finished the installation. I'm going to click on continue right now. And there it is. So you're going to get this uh, black screen with some text and that's pretty much it. So here right now, Kali Linux has finished installing. It's running. And that is Kali Linux right there. So now I'm going to provide my username and password, which are Kali and Kali. And I'm simply going to log in. And there it is. All right, so we can expand the screen. I'm going to minimize the window in here, then expand one more time right there. And there it is over here on the right. You can close that window. And there it is. That's Kali Linux. Make sure that you can actually get internet access. So when I click on the Firefox browser in here, uh, let's try this out. I'm going to simply search for YouTube and uh, there it is. So you can see right now that it is in fact connected to the internet. Hey, Tom and Jerry, I like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's it for installing uh, Kali Linux on your virtual box. So that's it for today's double tutorial where I've shown you how you can install both VirtualBox and Kali Linux on your computer. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider giving a thumbs up and share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it. If you're new here to the channel, welcome. Please do subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.